you know, I always invite questions in class. Okay, so, okay. You know, you're not always be expecting me to ask the questions all the time. Uh, like, okay, what would you want to find out from me if, let's say, you do? Mm, what would I want to find out from you? Uh? Yeah, why I always make people cry. Why, yeah. I don't make them cry. <laughs> you, you. <laughs> I talk, um, and then they talk about their own experience, mm. and then after that, they feel it. They feel the feelings coming. They cry. Mm. But I notice that you always know, seem to know what they are thinking. Uh, at that very precise moment, uh. Really, uh? Uh. <laughs> So is that good or is that scary? Uh, I would say. It, very clever of you, okay? I admire that. But I really don't know how you do it. La. Kind of scary. Yeah, so. so, if you're interested in people, you will know. I mean, you watch them uh, as they are saying things and then the reference that they make and all these things can kind of tell really. So, about being interested in people. Mm. Like when people coming who are suicidal. Yeah, talking about suicidal. Uh. Yeah, then I don't go and say that you want to die. Uh. Yeah, talking about suicidal. Uh. Yeah, but you do a lot of suicide, what suicide intervention. Uh. Yeah, we talk about that. Uh, then it's like uh, no fun for me. Uh. Okay. We talk about that because I do that for free. I cannot charge money for that. <laughs> okay. Yeah, well. <gasps> okay, okay. But do you, how, how do you feel... You know, your participants, uh, what do you feel about them? Do you think that they fear you a lot when you no, look at I them? I think that everyone is an individual. Uh. You don't feel that some kind of fear you? They kind of fear me. Uh. Yeah. That's Why? Cool, uh. Why? Then I can you exert some them? influence over the class. <laughs> okay. Everything is done such that... Uh, it facilitates their learning. Yeah. Which is why sometimes when you are practicing, I'm not in class. Or when they are, you notice, when they are practicing, I'm not in the class. Yeah, I because think... Because I don't want to have oh, this yes. very, very conscious that, oh, someone is looking at me. Yes, yes. That's why you are stepping in as a, a facilitator because then you'll be around to uh, more at their peer level so that they can have a more uh, easy experience. Yeah, that's true. Uh. We felt a lot better, yeah. More comfortable. Yeah. And then practice. they can do it in the state where it's more natural for them. Mm. Right? But what do you think about Correct. the stretch that we put people through? <laughs> <laughs> You've been stretched too. But it's good, right? Are you glad that you've been stretched? Have yes. You, uh, it's not nice for us to tell other people how we stretch. Yeah, because but then I they think know about it. Be, but then it that's more. how we learn what. Uh. You need to be stretched in order to learn what. So long as after the stretching, you become better. Problem is now you have a class of people that are, they're all stretched at the same time. They don't know that they're actually benefiting so much from it. Until you finish really. You go and compare your experience to some other people who have gone through another training. Then you know. Actually, not necessarily. Uh. Why must they go through uh, some other training with different instructor in order not, to... Not a different instructor. I mean, maybe another hypnotherapist or another NLP person. I think if they put into practice what they learn, they will, they will somehow see, you know, uh, how much they've changed and how good they've become. The thing is, they don't put into practice. Right? Who, who, who in your mind gives you the deepest impression? Right? They come here, they are one person, when they leave, they are another person. Who? Okay, I don't mention name. Right? They are, you know a few. Right? Uh, of course I know a few. I mean, those who are... Mm-hmm. I've, I've taken more more class than... No. By the way, I have 100... The, the, okay la, we talk about those uh, in the same class as me ah. Uh, uh, the one that still come back and facilitate for you. Okay. The male one. Okay. Uh, the Indonesian one. Yeah, talk about them ah. What's, what's the biggest change that you've seen? In mm. 
Yeah, I see they, they all very shy, they were all very quiet. Very boring uh, to a certain extent. Actually quite boring. Uh, look at them. Yeah, they don't even talk, you know. Don't yeah. even smile, you know, that, that kind of face, you know, no yeah. expression. Yeah. Is their change gradual? Hey. One of them is suddenly click on. No, not really that gradual. Uh. We only have ten days, a uh, very short. Yeah, I would say it's not like a very long period of time, yeah, ten days. Uh, well, you know uh, some of them day four, day five suddenly day four they were one person, then day five suddenly pop. Yeah, 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 yeah. Some are like that. But you're not amazed, you know, you're always amused. You're more amused than amazed. I am amazed as well as amused. Okay. You are more amused. You're always saying, how about today is like that already? <laughs> but it's good, right? That's good change, right? So it's good, so long as it's a good change, you know. Okay. Yeah, I like the part. Every time during CH class, uh, you would do something and then somebody would go into hypnosis without even realizing it. That time you did it to who? Uh, that's one that's sitting in front. Our friend actually went into that state without even realizing it. You say all hypnosis is self hypnosis. Right? When it's appropriate for them or for that person to go into hypnosis, he, he or she will. Okay. So you like to see that, right? Suddenly they, uh, <laughs> and then they act, they behave as if they are zoned out. Uh, yep. 